Right, so this is the Techlast X4 2-in-1 touchscreen tablet. Um, currently, it's just a tablet, but I'll show you in a, in a minute. I've had to buy um, a keyboard for it just so that I could use it as I wanted to use it. Uh, but as it stands, it's basically a tablet that's very much like the Surface range. And in fact, in saying that, I've purchased this to replace my old Surface 3. Um, now, although the surface may look bigger, it's not, it, it's quite a bit smaller. The screen's smaller. So on the tech last, it's, um, it's an 11.6 inch, 1920 by 1080. So it's full HD. Uh, obviously it's touch screen, just like the surface one. The big difference is the tech last one is running on uh, eight gig of Ram. I think this is two gig of Ram. So if I've got a couple of windows open on Edge, it basically everything slows down on it. Whereas on the um, on the Telcast one, it just zooms along. So it's running on eight gig of RAM, and it's also got two hundred and fifty six gig of storage, which is a SSD. Now it's M.2 SSD, so there's a, a compartment on the back so that you can upgrade it if you want more than two hundred and fifty six gig. But we'll go through that anyway. Right, before I put the keyboard on, I'll just take you through the ports and the controls. So, on top, you've got your on-off button and your pause there, uh, your volume button. So that's the top left-hand corner as you're looking at it. And then if we go to this side here, you've got your uh, SE power there. You've got your micro HDMI, USB, uh, USB 3. You've also got a USB-C for um, data transfer and power as well. And then if we nip around the other side, there's your earpiece and another USB 3. And on top, if we just go over here, you've got a slot for a micro SD card there. So you've got all connectivity that you want on it. Obviously, it's uh, just like any other laptop. It's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. So. I do like tablets, but for productivity, I need a keyboard. So I had to go out and buy one of those. And I bought the Techlast keyboard, which is that there. And if we have a look on, it's specifically made for it. You've got your attachments there and it's magnetic. So just pop it on. And also, I'll just turn it around that way. You've also got the angle there to make typing easier or if you want it flat just pull it off and lay it flat like that not the biggest of touch pads but it does work perfectly uh let's put that up there because i do prefer it and it, sorry it's, it's a nice strong magnet as well as you can see I'm not touching it there and it's holding it nicely so pop that back down on the back the kickstand is adjustable through to um, probably about 120 degrees. Again, with the surface, I had one, two, I had about three places that I could use it to, and they were notched, whereas this goes all the way through. So you can have it relatively flat to anything that you want. The battery on this is 700 um, milliwatt hours. Uh, so you've got up to seven hours, but really you're talking more along uh, five hours use if you're watching video and everything else. Uh, and it's dual band Wi-Fi too, so that's good. I really like the fact that I can charge it up with the micro, sorry, with the USB-C cable. Um, that's something that I haven't had to do on any of the others. And it's a lot easier than using the supplied um, power jack, purely simply because these go missing. Well, as a backup now, I know that there's always the USB-C that I can use. And as you can see by the USB plugged into the side there, the charging lights on top, just above the display. And if we come down, you can see that the battery indicator is showing that it's charging as well, or fully charged now as it is. And that's with using this power block by Tomox. That's about a 74, um, 74 watt power block, that USB-C. And it's also got a, a quick charge port at the top. Um, which is, I think, about 24 watts, and then two USB 3s at the bottom, which are 2.4, if I'm not mistaken. 
obviously the processor on it that's um, a gemini late one a an intel gemini late processor so good power performance and obviously that's why you're getting the sort of um, battery life that you're getting with it right, if we have a look at the keyboard itself there's not that much flex in it i'll just take it off for a moment remove that take it off all right it's compact the keys are good you're going to see the travel on them see the space key there so that's the travel there these are good keys very good keys uh, you've got your qwerty setup on there as it stands this is the american keyboard uh, layout so your ampersand would be the and your quotation marks would be up where the ampersand was if it's the uk you can set it up in the settings so that it's either like that or the way i've got it if i press that i get the ampersand and if i press the ampersand i get the quotation mark so i'm quite happy a really heavy duty magnet on the back it's not going anywhere you've got these pads which prevent the keys from damaging the screen and i spoke about the uh, the trackpad it's not the biggest but you can't have a big keyboard and trackpad if you've got a relatively small uh, two-in-one device it just doesn't fit so let's pop that back on obviously you can have it to switch over to um, tablet mode or desktop mode automatically or you can do it manually i prefer to have it set as desktop mode if we just bring up word works perfectly there we go so all in all great keyboard turns it into a laptop for me this is this is a device that is going to be used around the house for just general purpose youtube viewing or updating reading emails that type of thing predominantly though it's there for me to take abroad i've got um i've got a large laptop that i took to the us for for a month recently this would have been so much easier and lighter to carry around i suppose the thing to say about the keyboard itself is it's made by the same company that made the two-in-one so that's good it is rigid it is protector for the screen uh the keys fantastic more than anything else it was under 40 pound and as i said made by the same company to do the job that it does do that's fantastic when i was talking earlier about the 8 gig of ram making it so much easier you can see i've got a number of tabs open across the top of edge there and it is memory hungry edge or, or i've found it to be anyway if i open up the uh, task manager you can see there's 20 20 things running under edge i've got excel open in the background i've got word open in the background all the other things that are they're running just as part of windows and I'm only at 66% of memory. If I had three windows open on the Surface 3, this would be up at about 95% and everything in it would just be so, so slow. And obviously the SSD that you get in it, the M.2 SSD, makes everything run faster, so much faster than a hard disk anyway. So SSD, wonderful. And if we have a look at that, so to access the m.2 ssd i'm just going to close it up take off the keypad pop that to one side um, the weight of this thing it's only uh, about 840 grams and the thickness of it without the keyboard is under nine millimeters so if i move that around there obviously you've got the the camera on the back there now if we lift that up this is the uh, the cover for the M.2 SSD. Now I'm going to remove this cover and just show you inside. Just two screws that you've got to remove. One and two. And once they're gone, with a little bit of maneuvering you take the cover off there's the cover and this is the m.2 now you've got two sizes that you can use and this actually carries them both um, I'll, you'll see a link on the screen later on i've got two other 
two other types of um, laptop and, and um, two in one that I've put this type of memory in. And in each of those, you could only put one or the other in. With this, however, you can put, put both in. So this is the M.2 2242. So that's basically 42 millimeters from there to there. Uh, but you can put the longer M.2 2280 in. So that's a longer, um, a longer board. Both the same fitting down at the bottom. Really easy to do. Like I say, if you're unsure about it, just have a look at the videos that I've done. But that, that's your SSD. And you can, you can increase that easily and relatively cheaply. Put that into context. I think for around about 256 gig, uh, it cost me about 30, 30 odd pounds. So really, really cheap and easy to do. Right, so if we check out the video and the audio on this, I've put a USB stick in that's got masterminds on it. Uh, I've already set it up. So if we open it up and play it, you can listen to it. Right, we're on full volume now, so we'll just play it. Listen, we're going to just keep calling him Geppetto, okay? This is Geppetto. Right. It's tinny. There's no bass on it. Uh, the speakers are, are on the side there, those two speakers. So obviously you get your stereo. I've heard a lot of criticism about smaller laptops and two-in-ones like this. Uh, being tinny, not being very loud, not being good to listen to. My take on that is, if I'm listening to something, whether that be music, film, YouTube, whatever, I'm going to be using a pair of Bluetooth headphones or earbuds, something like that. So I'm not bothered about the speakers. Obviously, these are the speakers here. So you do get your stereo effect. Um, but I only use them for notification, etc. cetera, um, if I haven't got my headphones on. So the, these work perfectly for me. I have no complaints whatsoever. So everything's metal on it. That's metal. The case is metal. The build quality of it is fantastic. These are obviously the vents. Um, there's no fan inside, um, so that's got to cool down somehow. And, and those are the vents on the top of it. But as you can see, it's all metal, all well made. The quality of it really surprised me, to be honest with you. This is, um, this is something that I'd put up with Microsoft any day. I can't compare it to Apple because I just won't buy anything that's Apple. I think they're way overpriced. Um, and if you want to be an Apple fanboy, that's fantastic, but I'm not. And, and that is that. Just pop the keyboard back on for the last time. There we go. Have that up there. And as you can see, all in all, uh, a really good two-in-one laptop. So that's it, the Techlast 2 in 1. It's a tablet, it's a laptop. The additional keyboard that I've got for it. Obviously, that protects the screen as well, which is great. But the build quality is fantastic. The 8 gig of RAM is fantastic. The SSD on board is fantastic. Lots of fantastic things about this. Um, yeah, it's a big recommendation.